Hello. Next episode of Might Magic 6 coming up. I did some things off camera, but not too many things. Just uh, worked with the inventory a bit and fit. Uh, used all the empty bottles to make simple potions, so I could fit more potion stuff, bottles and ingredients in this guy's inventory, and that's all I did. I also patched my Might Magic 6, so the music's gonna loop. I have a quick save apparently, yes, I do. I don't know if I do have a quick load, but um, apparently some bugs are fixed, but most importantly the saves work, so that's great, I'll be using that from now on. The best thing of course is the music looping, I already checked, it does loop. So yeah, and also I think I found... How are you? Yes, this guy must merchant. Yes. Yes. So now is the best time to go to Abdul's discount weapons and Abdul's discount armor. If, of course, I am just uh, guessing that the armor shop is also called Abdul's discount armor. Let's find out. <coughs> yep. For some reason, lots of shops in this town are called Abdul's discount. Even the training center was... I just noticed was Abdal's discount training, maybe center. Whoa, this is not Abdal's. Oh well. So I'm selling. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. I'm selling all this shit. Come back. And by an overwhelming two votes out of two, the rate recovery increased one over 22 hit points, and I can kind of understand why. Yeah. I didn't really notice uh, a lot of increasing rate of recovery, but I guess it's a thing that you don't notice, but it helps you. Ah, let's kind of try to fit all this crap in here. Zeh, especially the shield I want to fit, because How you doing? How I want you to doing? sell it all at one time. And now... I can fit this, and this, and even this. Yes, go, let's go to Abdul's discount weapons or Abdul's discount magic shop. Hello. And of course, on, of course, on the way there, let's visit the houses because I don't remember. How are you? Positive thinking. What can Igor Ivan? <laughs> yes, yes, Igor Ivanovich. Awesome! I never noticed that there was a Igor Ivanovich in this game. <laughs> Positive thinking. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> of course, the Russian dude is going to be the master of positive thinking. This game is not very realistic. Um, where is the... Um, you get out of my sight. Uh, I think it's down there. The weapons shop was somewhere around here and the magic trinkets, yes. The smithy. In the I don't really believe you, you know that. Come again. Um, but you know what? I could probably get a nice uh, second sword for my this guy knight. Mm -hmm. Won't bother with daggers, but let's I see if they sell the swords. Land. No, they don't sell swords. Well, he's going to call me a cheapskate now. You, cheapskate. Right. How rude. How did I guess? He could have called me tight wad or something, but I guessed right. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, my friend. That guy looked like he just, I don't know, robbed a bang or something with that face. Special? Whoa, a bottle of blue potion, that's really special. I kind of thought that I might look into this special in the trinket shops because who knows maybe I can stumble upon a life recovery or mana recovery thing in jig and it will be helpful what else did I want these guys don't have the best leather armor let's return to the armor shop and see what it sells once again prepare to be called a rude word if I don't find anything useful there it is. How you doing? How you doing? Oh boy. Oh boy. I kinda want this, but I also want to check. Oh, I can check. 
18 and half damage from all missile attacks and this is 26 and so ooh, I want it I want it but I don't want any of this of care of course How you doing? How you doing? I'm going to come back soon come back I'm going soon. to sell you this shit and now my plan is actually to clear out the overworld because I saw a lot of like chests when I fly flight flew flew and I flew over this last time also that's the of warlord's fortress but it has very powerful knight kind of monsters um, black knight I guess family a Cuisinart I don't remember because they are very deadly and I really don't want to go there yet what I want to do though is to clear out the overworld because once again it's populated by druids and gargoyles and I can deal with those okay thank you for not shooting your fireball bow at this distance this Ah, why the hell not? Is he weak? Yeah. That's kind of cool, you know, the gargoyles... Uh, the, I, don't, I don't remember if the best gargoyles can turn you to stone, but they can paralyze you and the kind of weaker version of paralysis is weakened and so the weaker gargoyles do that. That's kind of cool. Okay, I wasn't aiming at those guys, but okay. I uh, was aiming at least somebody there, but okay, your weakness. Okay. I do remember how that place kind of stopped me when I was playing four nights. But I probably mentioned that a lot of times already. marble stone and the yellow ones are diamond if I remember correctly you know what let's let's check the volume quickly music volume yeah it's higher than sound Excellent. But let's let's make it a bit higher, of course. If I'm not talking, you can at least enjoy the music in this game because it's worth it. It's really good. Hmm. These sprites always look like they are far higher resolution than they really need to be. For some reason. Like the textures. You know there's a program called MM7 View. And it can open the files of Might Magic 6 to 8, I think. And view the textures and the sprites in the movies. And when you look at the textures in that program, you see that all the textures in Might Magic 6 are actually higher resolution than they appear to be. Now, I'm not sure if the engine somehow doesn't draw them fully or it does, but the game's resolution isn't high enough for us to actually see that most of the time. But it's kinda neat. You could steal those textures for, I don't know, Minecraft or Doom or... Games that don't have texture smoothing, because texture smoothing sucks. Sometimes. Not always, of course. I'm not going to say that... Uh, the modern technologies of graphics and games are bad. But... In all games, you know the like ports for Doom, which smooth the textures. That I think that always sucks. Um, probably would be more correct to say that I think that I never like how it looks, but I don't like to be polite. Okay, let's see. Maybe the this. Nah, that's pathetic. Yeah, those guys are invulnerable to. Whoa. So lots of things, but mainly physical attacks. And for some reason fireball bow blah, 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 fireball bows also. Now let's try this. 
um, okay, fuck this, sparks. Just don't paralyze my... Let's... Uh, do I have some kind of cure paralyzes? Protection... I don't remember which one is cure paralyzes, probably some white. Are there white potions in... Yeah, there are white potions in Might Magic 6. Alright. This is like the super shotgun of Might Magic 6. Six. Also, you can see when they do that pain animation, you can see their like texture stretching vertically on their bodies. Uh, old rendered sprites. That's always cool. Cool in kind of semi-ironic way. Ah, why did I attack physically? Okay, for some reason I really thought that diamond gargoyles should be worth a lot more money than this. When you pick up their bodies. Okay, fuck you. Thankfully we're near the town and we can just go to the temple. The guy looks kind of funny when he's paralyzed. Okay, there's nothing there, I think. No chests. So I won't miss much if I just... What is that house? Oh, it's the Guild of Self. Okay. Where is the temple now? I think it's that way. Yeah, that black building over the roofs here. Can we assist you? No, it's really cheap too. Okay, let's look at the map. I should probably go west along the coast or across the rivers to the dirt area and then go north to the druid area of the map. Oh boy! Well, it almost hit them. Let's do it again! Hehe, <laughs> great. Um, okay. I don't have much more mana. Yeah, that wasn't very thoughtful. Oh, I could also cast Day of the Guy, and he doesn't have um, blah, 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 that spell. I should probably buy that spell for him. Well, what's there to lose? Let's cast the other gods and... Ah, fuck you all. Oh no, not battle over water. The... Um, what's the word? The valuable corpses are falling into the water and disappearing forever. That's not a good thing. Okay, I'm just kind of doing all-out melee here. And it works, except when I go against this guy. Again! Again. Okay, that's scary. Ah, phew. Because if all four of my guys get paralyzed, that's um, game over. And they just kind of paralyzed three of my guys in a row, which Can we assist you? which is not cool, dude. Okay, cure paralysis is in the mind. Oh boy. Cure paralysis in the mind. It's all in the mind, man. Okay, that guy. Oh sh shucks. The knight looks hilarious. But I kind of felt sorry for him, he kind of makes a sad face there. I can't really laugh at people who are looking sad. How are you? I'm not that malicious. Oh, what do you have to say about Tuesday? <clears throat> okay. Nothing important. 
I should also check out those fountains pro amulets. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, no, it's actually not going to be that useful. I don't think. I don't think I have worse amulets than plus three personality on my people right now. Now, who has water walk? Do I have enough for water walk? No. Well, let's suffer then. Oh, that's great. Why didn't I go here earlier? Actually, I'm kind of trained to be afraid of all the fountains because they tend to like kill you and turn you to stone. Whoa! Okay, this is seriously great. Of course, it's not as great as it would have been to have a might fountain because I need might for this guy to get mace master. And he has. Uh... Oh, I wonder if I can cheat like this. <laughs> ah, nah. Let's um, let's train. Sure. Ready to tri There you go. And also, I noticed that I'm not really uh, distributing these. Well, let's distribute some of them. I forget. Do I need ten? For some of these are all, are, are all Master 7. I think 10 I need for the weapon and armor skills and for magic I maybe need um, 8? Nah. Okay, let's... What did I just do? I don't know. Not really thinking too much about all this shit. Bow, sword, leather, plate. Okay. Gotta make use of this awesome golden plate. Also, maybe this show. Yes, the trinkets are just here. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Yes, I do have all day. Um, special? Intellect? No. Well, you suck. Thanks. Come again. Hey, wh why does he have this voice? Oh, fire, you fire! Oh. Yeah, that kind of voice. Only a bit better. Also, I totally agree with you, Hippocat, there. That person doesn't de deserve to leave. That... Mm. That adventure map was really bizarre. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Hippocat's Deep Space Total Chase. Let's play it. Minecraft adventure map. Really cool. Die! Damn it. If I can't tell you, no one can. Really cool, but really full of bizarre design choices. Perception. I wonder if it's beneficial to use the guy who has perception on the cook pot. Yes. Okay, he says yes. Yeah, let's take it, why not? This is crap, this is crap. This is, okay, I guess. Looks like a kind of X that, you know, you would give some important political figures a gift in the Middle Ages and uh, just kind of reminded me of an episode of a series, The Case of Dead Souls. Oh, I don't have the spells, I just noticed. I, I think I mentioned that uh, series some time ago for some reason somewhere is it terrorism yes bless um it's really great a little diamond uh, diamond gargoyles really little great little series and it's in russian of course so it's great um but there was an episode there when the kind of i don't know mayor you could call him a mayor like main town person master who decides stuff i don't know how to really translate the word the russian word garadnichi but uh, there was an episode there when he got a golden axe an axe made of gold which some like traders merchants gave him as a gift and he was like all ah those merchants are like little kids what would i do with a golden axe it kind of reminded me because it looked a lot like this one, but golden.
Don't even start, ladies. Don't even start. So that's where I got all those potion bottles. Okay, why do I have this one? Okay, screw it, I don't care. Um, power cure? Why not? He has mana regeneration, like every fucking mage ever should have actually. So it's better to cast something earlier and just kinda let him regenerate. Is this protection? Yeah, this is protection. Uh, prot magic. Wonder what does it actually do? I think in some in some games like Might Magic 7 probably I read that protection from magic was used against like Stattle Slimans or like even eradicate or maybe just paralyze and turn to stone kind of stuff. Maybe it was some kind of other protection. I think it was like Fire, uh, air, and water have protections from that element, but earth, for some reason, have protections. Has uh, protection from magic. But maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, why am I using melee attacks? <coughs> Die already, Jesus Christ. Okay. Thanks. And that late spark is kind of falling down. Okay, this is the edge of a map here. I don't think there's gonna be anything important. Of course, they like to put chests on the shoreline like this, but... If there was one, I would have seen it by now. Let's go kick some druids' asses. Which I kinda... Oh, and some more gargoyles, I guess. Or maybe there were only gargoyles around that uh, entrance to the monolith for some reason. Okay, let's do it like this. You guys attack those guys, and you guys attack these guys. Who is the big guy in here? Damn it! Stop! Well, at least now you don't paralyze the fucking priest which is great of you very thoughtful yeah yes okay freaks you're done their death sounds are damn it I should have shut up there are really uh, satisfying kind of like a Reknotron death sound in doom which everybody loves Oh, I noticed I have a corpse there that I didn't gather. Also, where did all these gargoyles even come from? No, for my, for all my love to the Might Magic Universe, it really doesn't uh, have a lot of lore. Like, it does have a lot of lore, but a lot of things are just kind of eh. It's fantasy universe, let's have these and these and these, like, oh, what are the titans just kind of doing in that one city in this game, or, yeah, that's the monolith. What are titans doing in that one fortress, in that one Evely, I think, area in Might Magic 7? Why aren't there anywhere else? Oh, well, they are in the land of giants, of course, but still. Who made all these gargoyles in Heroes games? I think gargoyles were always uh, the wizard faction. So it wasn't explained like the wizard made them like golems and brought them to life. But here, why are they here? It doesn't make any sense. I require all my games to make sense. You know, I notice as I grow up, I become less satisfied with like simple stories, like in fairy tales, of course, just kind of any any fantastic elements. Like if there is a living inanimate object in some story, I was thinking like, why would it have a mind exactly like a human? 
it would be by human standards really awkward and crazy because of course he would have a different life experience and senses and all that shit so i i really when when i have a story and by i have why is there no ground there what the hell is that it's a word hole uh so when anything like i i would i question any any element of any story and why how could it get like that whatever that is yeah it's what hole clearly why what the that's not going to help you oh shit please no don't demonize my freaking cleric also that was really scary and also what's this house i don't remember it I don't remember any more dungeons in this area. Is this the warlord place? Ah! They are the gods. Power cube, or maybe I can... Ah, I cannot do this. Shit. Also, this... This border is impenetrable. There is nothing there, I guess. Fucking power cube. Shit! Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? You know what? Um damn it. Well okay, I guess. Hey. <laughs> um what I wanted to do was not this because I can't actually do anything. This guy has no mana. Shit. Ah. Uh, no what? No, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. That was mean. Whew. Okay, so this place is kind of enchanted, I guess. The ward hole is real. Yeah, that's probably the warlord uh, castle, or is that the... What What are these places? Oh, it's... Yeah, that was the warlord. This is Silverhelm Stronghold, and I have no idea what's even here. I have no recollection of this dungeon whatsoever. Let's rest. I suppose you don't mind the rest. Yes, you suppose correct, I don't mind the rats. Why does the knight not have... Ah, oh, it was probably the... Uh, wait. Why? Did I cast the gods? Or something? Or did I just cast, like, shared life? Oh, I probably just cast shared life. Whoops! <laughs> A whoop! Right, now let's approach from this side. So, I guess the, this is the place where the ward hole and the druids are here. So, we're going to go like this and get them from the rear. <laughs> oh shit, there are more druids even there. I really miss being able to move in turn based mode from Might Magic 7. Stop shooting your bow in close quarters. Screw you, cyber demon. Mouse cursor. Go away. I wonder if I could clear out the silver hell next. Obviously, I guess this episode is going to be all about the wilderness, but next time I'm going to try at least try this one. I want to go to the freaking Mire of the Dam so I can upload that freaking bonus video that I have for like four years already. We recorded it four years ago. It is bad quality, way worse than stuff I'm doing now because it has lower resolution and worse encoding. 
And I could probably, I should probably re-record it altogether, but we are probably going to be too lazy to do that with Hippocat. <laughs> And uh, you know the Mire of Damned because um, it's like more appropriate for my, for my current level. A bit more appropriate for my current level. Uh huh. Always hits, you say, but doesn't do shit. So, kids, you learn this day that acid does not dissolve freaking diamond. Why do you go oops all the time? Jesus. Die. Okay. No. I really wish the collisions with the sprites were like in Doom, so that the projectiles wouldn't travel through other people and stuff like that. Actually, you know, I just beat Hexen legit for the first time uh, a few days ago, and I have to say that the Doom engine... Oh, shit. It's really good for like this old-timey RPGs kind of stuff. If it just had like... Of course I could use Doom and have the slopes. And uh, I, I would really love to like make my own Might Magic with Doom. Like a Strife engine and uh, all the dialogues, but more combat, more combat-oriented shit and... Like I wanted... There was a time when I wanted to make like a stalker kind of gameplay what uh, in Doom, but with Doom monsters and Doom story, of course. Um, the stalker gameplay that I was talking about then was mainly the... Like, you have a big world, and you had quests that get you into dungeons, and uh, you have like these useful... useful items that you use in combat, of course, mostly. like. In Stalker, for me, those were grenades. I was always collecting and using a lot of grenades. They were like the best item to see on a corpse. And for Doom it could be like uh, something like cells for, or rockets. Yeah, rockets actually make sense because they come in ones and uh, a single rocket is already really good for you. Remember, kids, rockets are good for you. But I kind of gave up on that because it was after the time that I realized that I should not start ambitious projects all the time. Now I only have like a gigantic CSM project, gigantic, um, uh, well, not very gigantic, but pretty, like, how do I say it? It includes everything that I would want to do in a Doom, like classic Doom. Wad. So all my Doom, classic Doom ideas go in that wad. Which you should know by name Doom Restored. And I'm really sorry that I chose a name that doesn't have anything to do with the wad. Because now I want to call it like Ill World or something. And nobody will... Ah, fucking hell. Nobody would get it. Ah, yes. Now I have to figure out what? Does Marble Gargoyle also paralyze? What I wanted to say was I have to figure out if I have a ability to make potions. Fuck all. Fuck all. Fuck off. To make potions for cure paralyze. Yeah, for some reason arrows aren't very effective against fucking stone gargoyles. Die already, die, 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 die. 
This is going a bit worse than I expected, but still. No, you don't escape. You don't fucking escape. And you don't escape, of course. <laughs> now let's see if I can make some potions without blowing my face off. Oh, damn it, I remember that I should probably concern myself with black potions again. Yeah, that's how I can get more might. Super resistance. I'm really afraid of blowing up. <laughs> oh, well. We have flies, so it's quick to fucking... It's quick to go back to town and cure. I guess heal would be correct to say there. I didn't find the town by the projectiles that they're flinging at us. You know what, let's quick save and let's do what I always wanted to do. Let's try to kill some pedestrians with the fireballs from the tower. Damn it, doesn't work. <coughs> yep, it doesn't work. Oh well. Now the temple. South. I can kinda see the temple on the map, so it helps. Stop shooting. Can we assist you? Oh and now it's 90 gold. Screw you. Um where is it? I guess I should think about using protection from magic, I mean, of course. Do any of these guys have some flesh? Stone skins? Stun. Okay, you know what? Is there a guild, a, like elemental guild here? I'm going to waste too much time on here at town hall Close. okay screw you then I guess not oh well so what I wanted to do was shed life and then buffs next I should probably start with power cure but who cares Actually, people should care, but at this at this moment, um, I don't know. My channel is not really popular enough to for me to expect all of people to care, and I'm not saying it should be popular because I, I don't think it deserves more popularity than it has right now, but. I guess it would be kind of nice if magically like a lot of people noticed it and came to my channel, but it's not like this is my goal in life to make a popular YouTube channel. Which it looks like it is with many channels nowadays that do all these blind let's plays for all the games, that new games that uh, just came out and when you watch the LP you can feel a lot of time that they're not really interested in that game, but they're still doing it because they know that it's going to bring views and that's really really a stupid thing to do i think well maybe not stupid but i don't like it let's do power cure before it's too late can you fly no i should really buy the doubles for my spells later when i have money whoa how did that happen? Did I just kind of shoot her with an arrow right after I shot the fireball? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay, now. Fireball, okay, alright. I wanted to cast fly so I can dodge projectiles cheaply in turn based mode. This is very useful. I need you to fly. I require you to fly. How was it? I don't think that video even exists anymore. That YouTube poop of like 
the Cars, the movie, or some, maybe not the Cars movie, but uh, some like cheap knockoff of Cars, like from Spain or where do they make all those cheap movie knockoffs, 3D movies like the Ratatouille one, which I was like, I don't remember, but it was a very hilarious video. A good chef knows that something, something ingredients, a good chef, good, good chef knows that a good chef, good restaurant, good chef, something like that, it was pretty funny. Oh well. Now, I should calm down when it's my turn because I don't think they can shoot when it's my turn. <laughs> ah, uh, screw you. Okay, that's, that's way overused now. Um, what should I use? Let's use Meteor Shower. <laughs> what? The hell was that? What the hell was that? Ah, crap. Damn it. Finish her. Alright. Alright. <laughs> this never gets old. I kill a pretty woman in a cloak and very skimpy outfit. And all right, but they attacked first. It's only self-defense. And if I kill a few of them before they notice me, well, I just guarantee that they would have attacked me first if they did notice me. So yeah. They were asking for it. Look at how they are dressed. What is going on? That was scary. Now, am I recording? Yes, I am. Should I sleep? Yeah, of course, with all these women around, I should sleep. <laughs> ah, too bad the sky is always fucking foggy like this. I really think that's some kind of like random number generator bug, but nobody else seems to think so because it isn't fixed in like a patch. And also cast fly, please. Fly, please, this guy. Hello, day of the gods, recovery long. Damn it. Oh well. Couldn't I do something like this in like in this game? Huh, it seems it was also corrected. Well, fly, yes, fly. I need you to fly. Ah. Now you throw a fireball there, if you can. Oh shit, someone's calling me. My dad is calling me, sorry, pause. Okay, moving on. Uh, hopefully this didn't fuck up the sound in, in the fraps like it usually does. Yeah, I forgot about those problems. You know what the worst thing is? I'm keeping my sound card for the new PC because I wanted to spend a bit less money and uh, my friend said my sound card is okay. But I realized that if the perhaps problem is with my sound card, then <laughs> the new computer won't be much better in that respect and I will have those fucking robot voice problems again. I really don't want because that, that's just really irritating. Also, thanks for kind of gathering by in groups of two and three. That was of course addressed to the ladies. Uh-huh. Oh, what the hell. Why the hell not? Oh, 
<laughs> Screw you. Dodging ladies like a boss. Okay, let's uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. exit turn base, get closer to green girls, enter turn base, throw fireballs. And what does that leave us with? I wonder. Oh man, I, I'm gonna have to gather all these corpses now. Is there anybody near here? It looks like maybe no. Okay. Uh huh. So map. There is something near the. Ah, I can't get that corpse. And this I can't get either. Damn it. Oh well. I guess there is nothing on the hill here. So yeah, let's let's just go corpse gathering. And also opening chests and pots. Let's see what they have. Yes. Well, pretty nice. Uh -huh. This bow might be kind of uh, useful, this and is this one is <laughs> wand of charms. Uh, uh -huh. It's worth selling. More food. Yes. Yes. Nice axe, uh -huh. which I don't need. Oh. Oh. Uh, whoa. Okay, it's cool, but too bad I don't use this kind of weapon. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, let's let's pick it up. What was I... yeah, bows. F -f 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 no, that bow is useless. But we can sell it. Tak, 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 tak. I'm slowly descending into using Russian. But what can you do? As a... you know why... Started to mention that one uh, religious lady last time when I like talked about how she came up, came up to me, and we kind of discussed some things for half an hour right there on the street. I don't remember what I managed to actually say there. I mean, in the last episode, not to her. But uh, why I even brought that up is because I am really out of practice with English language and like, just speaking in English. And this is a contrast to how I'm usually, oh, this is consistent, uh, how I'm usually out of practice in Russian, because I don't really, like, do a lot of, uh, how do you call it, just to talking about nothing with everybody, like, stuff like that. I usually only talk with people when I want to discuss some particular thing. <coughs> and... Uh, when there's a lot of people, I just kind of read books or stuff like that, because for some reason nothing really interests me of what they have to say, usually. Mostly what people talk about is, of course, personal like anecdotes and stuff that happens and things like movies and shit like that, but it just so happens that I'm such a boring person that I don't give a shit about any of that. Especially like personal anecdotes and stuff that happens to people, relationships, all kind of that. Ah, I'm out of fly. They really like discussing how they get... Uh, is there an analog g g g to this in English? Even how people learn to drive cars and buy the license. Buy, earn, of course, get the license. And how they drive and cars and phones and shit. So boring. I'm really into like philosophy when I am skipping classes and just kind of walking, having a walk in the forest all by myself. I can really go into some deep shit and one time I almost destroyed any enjoyment of the world that I have because I kind of thought about how our brains work and how our emotions like happen and if our brains were made, I don't like to use the word made, or how do you call, well, just different, we would feel a whole different set of emotions probably that we have no idea about right now, like our brains are constructed in such a way, and once again I don't mean constructed as in designed by someone, but you know what I mean, uh, in such a way that they feel like the human emotions, the standard human emotions, and of course, we think that this is like the 
we, we have the mind and a perfect mind would be just like a human mind but uh, like more powerful but that's bullshit and uh, people should realize that because uh, like some aliens hypothetical aliens would of course probably uh, have maybe they wouldn't have like sense of humor sense of beauty sense of justice and that's just because those are kind of things that we developed as a race what oh i have to get master first i'm not master in sword and where do i get master in sword i don't know but i'm going to keep this sword because it looks cool and has a skull on it why can't i fly what the hell oh maybe it's because i don't have mana Okay, who has water walk? You had water walk, I think. Yes, let's walk on water to that place. I already was there. It looks like another world core there. Oh, well, world core. <laughs> world hole. And another freaking sword and stone. Okay. I figured that previous world hole was somehow connected to that teleport thing. Okay, 9, 3 to 3, it's. Uh, it seems worse. Yeah. So, as I was saying about like human mind, we just have a particular type of mind. And of course, being stupid as we are usually, we think that our body is like the perfect body and uh, our mind is the model of a perfect mind and bullshit like that. And I thought that everything that I enjoy, like beauty and what else you enjoy like happiness uh, for any reason it's all merely like does harm work on yes it does it's all merely a result of a trick of the mind so you know you feel good when something good happens to you and evolu evolutionarily it's explained why does that work of course then I mean when organisms realize when good things happen to them it's probably they probably will try to repeat those good things and that's good <laughs> you know what i'm talking about this like, like really really simple first grader trying to explain evolution um and so i just thought damn like anything that i enjoy it's all a lie it's not like real it's not objective in any sort of way it's all subjective and i thought dang it if i keep thinking about this i will stop enjoying anything in life but thankfully, usually I am pretty good ab about you know, keeping that all that philosophy and my day-to-day -day life and emotions separate, so it doesn't really bother me. Never bothered me that like we are flying through space on a speck of dust and stuff like that. It helps when you feel down, it helps... Wow, you're drunk. It helps to care less about bad stuff that happens to you and think ah who cares about that bad stuff it doesn't really affect the world and uh, most other people in the world doesn't affect when something bad happens to me so it's not really that bad i am not significant enough for myself to care what happens to myself what was i even talking about oh yeah so yeah i apparently just managed to completely destroy almost completely come close to almost completely destroying like all enjoyment and i couldn't reconstruct deconstruct like this only curiosity of course it's obvious why curious organisms and curious like creatures should probably live better like it's beneficial for survival in some cases but really not at all and when you think about it it shouldn't really have like, curiosity would more often lead to sudden death than anything good happening to you, I think, but apparently it didn't. And uh, what I... I don't really remember my train of thought from then, but I thought that if I lose all enjoyment of the world, like if I lose ability to enjoy beauty and anything, happiness, the only thing that I would be left with is my curiosity and my wish to like know more and just wait and look 
what happens around the world is always interesting. If you, any of you watched uh, Justice League, the cartoon series, there was an episode where, how was it called, Amazo, that like nanobot returned from space and he thought that ah everything is meaningless, blah blah blah, I'm going to kill you all because it's meaningless anyway. That was of course kind of stupid in its own way, but uh, Lex Luthor there was very wise in that he uh, he said that an all-powerful being should find the purpose of life in satisfying its curiosity. You should just be an observer and uh, just kind of look what happens to the world. And you know, if you, of course, I don't believe in God, but if like in stories of fictional gods, if I would make up a god, I would make up a story of how he was like the only mind in the world and he created more minds so that he could just kind of sit and watch what happens to them and feel what they feel and stuff like that and experience the world in new ways. Something like that. But of course that assumes that mind is something unique that couldn't have happened by myself, by myself, by itself and I do believe that it could have, but I guess it's not really understood these days enough for us to just be sure about how it happened, so yeah. This is like one of the few places in the modern, modern, modern world where we can shove God to plug the hole is uh, what happened before Big Bang because I personally with all my trust to scientists I don't really buy the Stephen Hawking explanation there was nothing, no time and nothing could have happened before the Big Bang and nothing happens outside Big Bang because that's uh, I don't want to say it makes no sense, because that's really not an excuse to not believe something in science, but I don't really agree with that, because I read a... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that's sudden. I read a lot of, like, theories and uh, suggestions about what could be happening outside, like, the universe, and what was happening for Big Bang and stuff like that, but that and, uh, I guess, the where does mind come from and how does it happen that we like feel ourselves that's not how i wanted to put it we are conscious of ourselves and stuff like that how does that happen why are not we just machines that work like our brains tell us to according to the feelings and stuff like that but don't actually aren't aware of ourselves those are the questions that are free right now i think like common folk can understand these and they are not really explained yet, so we can shove God in there. And I really, really went in places that I didn't want to go because I want to... S oh, I just noticed that the texture is different in places, like on the corner. That's cool. But anyway, let's end the episode here at night. Just... Hey, lady. Where are you going? In the dark alley? You have four drunk guys here and you are going to... You're a banker! What do you have to say about economy? Okay, thanks. I just wanted to learn something about eco <coughs> economy. Anyway, let's save and that was pretty hilarious, I think. <laughs> let's save in two slots and quick save and just as the music ends, so end I this episode. Goodbye. Ah, damn, the music loops now. Shit. Oh, well. The episode, you can loop the episode. There is like this icon with the arrow like this twisted arrow which you can use to loop the episode magically so do that until i release the next one goodbye <laughs>